Hey guys, it's Sasha. So as you saw in the title, I'm going to be showing you guys how to survive high school. So I'm currently a senior, so I've literally been through it all. I've seen it all. So advice coming from here is amazing. Sorry, I don't like switch the camera angle because I don't know what that one was. So first of all, I just want to say high school is not as scary as you think. Is it very different? Yes. But you're going to get there and you're going to be like around the entire big difference of age groups you're gonna have people from 13 to literally 18 years old maybe even 19 so i just wanted to clear that out the way really quick so i'm gonna be going into what i've learned and some tips and advice for all of you first of all class switching you do not always need to switch class just to be with your friends i know it's like scary and all like oh my god i want all my classes with my friends i want all my lunches with friends but that's like the cool thing about high school you are most likely not gonna be friends with a lot of people you were friends with in middle school because you guys will probably have different interests since you're growing up different friends there's gonna be like new people there that you haven't seen and stuff like that so you kind of might just distance over high school not saying you're gonna do that with all your friends but that really can happen personally if you're like not a really big introvert not switching classes would probably be the best bet because you want to make new friends because once you see your friends making new friends it's gonna be like okay what about me so this literally is not middle school anymore this is high school so you need to drop all the things that you were doing in middle school like i'm specifically talking about the really immature stuff we're in high school now we're we're, we're on the big girl stuff the gossiping isn't it the not trying in school is not it and judging people is definitely not it especially you have these big you have these different groups of people in high school judging is not cute it's not cool it's not cool to make fun of people it's not cool to bully people in high school do not do that because i swear it's gonna come back to bite you all like the popular kids at my school are like that but if you really look at them they're peaking in high school after that they're done you're they're their popularity is not there anymore. They're not there to make fun of like the bear kids and stuff like that. So make sure you're being positive, nice, especially nice to your teachers. Because if you're not nice to your teachers and you, you need that 0.18% grade raise or whatever, or like you have a problem and you go off up to the office, those are the people that's going to be there to help you. That's their job. And when you don't treat somebody nice, they're most likely not going to treat you nice back. Also, going back to what I was first saying, it's okay to make new friends, okay to build new relationships. You don't need to be friends with the same people that you were friends with in middle school. Personally, when I got into high school, I, I don't have any friends that I had from middle school or elementary. Yeah, not one friend. Because I've really grown out of those people, and like a lot of those people were gossipers, or like, now I see some of them, and like they're the people that are really freaking rude to people. And obviously, I don't want to surround myself with people like that. So try to not stay in the past too much because your future matters more. Just stay in the present, honestly. Sorry, this is like low-key all over the place, but you do not need to wear a full face of makeup to school every single day. Personally, I can tell when somebody's a freshman because they're trying too hard. And I'm not over here like, don't dress up for school because I wear a full face of makeup to school most of the days, but I do go natural sometimes. But like, that's really not the point of what I'm saying. When you're a fresh, when you see a freshman, you can tell they're trying really hard. They're trying to be cool so bad. That's what separates them from the upperclassmen. So please don't put on that fake, fake personality and just all of that because it really doesn't get you anywhere. It doesn't make you any cooler. In fact, that just gets people talking about you even more. And speaking of like fashion and stuff like that, always make sure to bring a jacket in your bag because first of all, it gets cold in those classes. Second, there's always those old bats telling you, oh, that shirt is too short or like whatever. Don't listen to them. Just put on that jacket. Or if like when you're switching classes, usually I would just put on a jacket while I'm switching in between classes and stuff like that just so those old bats don't tell me what to freaking wear because this is my this is my body I'm gonna put whatever I want on it but also make sure you're not dressing like a you know what as a freshman when you get attention from like the older high school boys you're like oh my god what but trust me that's not the right attention you want like literally I swear High school, guys, high school guys that are above your grade only want you for one thing. And we all know what that one thing is. So don't fall into whatever that is because that is really freaking scary. 
And especially if you're a freshman and they're a senior, run. Literally freaking run. Run with everything you got. Okay, next. Stay away from all the drama. Last year, I was a junior, but I had a few freshmen and sophomore classes because I was a little behind. And ugh, let me tell you the difference in maturity and drama. There are definitely some seniors and juniors that act like that, but specifically the freshmen and sophomores. Oh my god. I've never heard of so much drama in my entire life. This girl freaking lied about being from Russia and her parents being in the head to me. Like, weird things like that. I do not mess with that. Make sure you're not around people that lie. Don't tell people your secrets and stuff like that because it will be around the whole school faster than you know it. Unless you have a friend that you've literally known for years, like since you were young or you have like a cousin, tell them. Don't tell the person you just met your entire life story because they'll be like, oh my god, her dad beats her. Like, no, don't do that. But also, make sure you're not spreading drama because, trust me, it's not a cute look and you're, ew. Like, honestly, it's an ick. It's a, it's a really big ick. And... I never thought this was true, but people really do get to talking like, oh yeah, she just talks about all the drama, like, you know her. Don't, don't let yourself be that person. Going along with that, keep your group small. It's always cool to have, like, a lot of friends and stuff like that, but, like, when it comes down to it, keep your group small. Like, the people that you actually mess with. Like, my entire high school year, I've had one to two friends that I mainly hang out with because I know I can trust that person or those people. And honestly, it's helped me through high school so much. I've never had things that were untrue really spread about me. I feel like there was probably one thing, but really not much. And I've really studied a drama my entire high school years because of that reason. I'll listen to people's drama, but I'll just be like, I always got to make sure that they told somebody else. So it's not like you told them like, no, I didn't. Don't get too committed with guys, as I said previously. Because they will literally break your heart into pieces. And I don't care. I don't care if this man is getting you freaking flowers every time, every week because your flowers died. He can still cheat on you. And you know what that leads to? You getting bad grades. Your hor your hormones are freaking crazy. I know it because I was there before. Let me tell you. It messes up your life. When you're like really that invested in a guy that young, just please don't do it. I've had... Freshman year was like my main time when I was having boyfriends and stuff like that. Because I'm like, oh, I'm in high school and I'm not boyfriends. I'm going to go on dates. I'm going to do this. That was probably one of my biggest regrets of high school. The guy that I was that I was with, I won't even call him my ex at this point. Because like, that's like childhood stuff. But he traumatized me. Literally freaking traumatized me. Especially another guy in sophomore year. So make sure, make sure you... Don't go down that path. And if you are going to date somebody, take it slow. Please take it slow. And have boundaries between them and let them know that you have an, a life outside of them. Because it really will not end up well. And make sure you don't send them pictures, if you know what I mean. Because that will spread really fast. And make sure you don't give them that prized possession you have, if you know what I mean. Because they're going to tell everybody about it. Like, oh yeah, I hit that. Do you really want people talking about you like that? He can say nasty things about you that aren't even true. So, don't beware don't be afraid to raise your hand in class i know it's probably freaking scary i'm still scared at this point but if you really want to pass a class if and if you're the one asking the questions your grade is more likely to be raised when you need help because they know that you're paying attention in class and wanting to ask questions and second of all you get the answer that you need going along with that pay attention in class don't be that person that's talking while the teacher is talking i think that's the most thing that gives me the most secondhand embarrassment about people was when they talk while the teacher is talking like shut up like do you know how disrespectful that is like you have somebody teaching you literally trying to help you get through high school and you're just being like i don't care like grow up we're not in seventh grade anymore we're not doing that we're not we're not making those little like freaking like paper things you throw up onto the roof we don't do that anymore we're we're supposed to be growing up here it's okay to act childish but don't do it in places that you shouldn't don't be on your phone in class unless you genuinely need to because the teacher sees that that's like me That's like me talking to you right now And you're just sitting on your phone or I'm just sitting on my phone while you're talking to me. I'm like yep Yep, do you know how that feels? That's so mean Think about how the teacher feels. Yeah, they've probably seen it whatnot But they're trying to help you and I believe 
if you f if the more people that fill their class the less they get paid so make sure you're paying attention also this is like just an honorable mention don't have your flashlight on every time your notifications go off that is the most embarrassing thing ever shut it off please shut it off i literally was just in class the other day and there was a senior boy that had it on like what are you in eighth grade like shut it off nobody cares how many snapchat notifications you have or how many H-O-E-S's are texting you? We don't care. Just shut it off. We don't care about your notifications. You can see the notification on the front of your phone. You don't need to see a flash to know. Okay? Okay. But don't be that loud and obnoxious person in class. We get it. You think you're funny, but you're not. The more the, the loudest person in the room is the dumbest person in the room, and that is one of the most truest statements ever. So make sure you're chill. Make sure, make sure you're calm. Don't be like the quiet kid that looks looks like he's about to up the school but there's always a there's always a good medium stay in that please study for your tests I have not studied for a single test my entire high school years and look where I am right now having to catch up on six classes in my senior year mind you I'm already in six classes so I have to do six online classes my biggest bet of passing a test is peeking over at somebody else's test I don't care anymore because I'm basically done with school, but that's something I wish I would have done in my freshman year. A 4.0 GPA. I can't go back. I never can go back. But if I could, I would be studying for them tests and doing my homework. Speaking of homework, no last minute homework. Don't do your, don't do your homework the period before the next period. If you genuinely had something going on the night before, talk to your teacher about it. Tell them what happened and stuff like that. But don't make that an everyday thing. Do your homework at night or... Have your friends even send you the answers. As long as you're getting your homework done. Because if you do every homework assignment and average a D on every test, if you just genuinely want to pass and don't care about your grades, you will never fail your class. Next, be involved in school events. Be involved in high school. High schools, you only get it one time. Don't be that don't be that anti-social person that doesn't go to prom. I'm too cool for prom. No, you're not. Go to prom. You only get it once. Because guess what? When you're 50, you're going to be want to chaperone it. You're going to be wanting to chaperone prom because you missed out. Join clubs and stuff like that. Do, do a sport, anything. That's just so fun. I personally didn't do... I think I was in one... I think I was in one thing my entire high school, and I regret it. I wish I was in student council because I feel like that's where I belong because my voice be voicing i there's things that i regret and it literally makes me emotional not being in student council and not cheerleading during high school those were the two things i was most excited for during high school and i didn't do it and now i just have to live with it it's not like i'm gonna make cheerleading like a actual job or anything like that it was just something fun like oh my god yay like but no you can't do that you can't you can't redo high school you can't can't redo middle school think about it just how you couldn't do redo elementary school, you're never getting elementary school back. I want you to know that. That's how high school is going to be after you leave it. Okay, next. It's okay to dress differently and be different. I see people trying to fit in so much. I've done it. I remember when I first started freshman year, I was at a full white school and not that race has to do with anything but I definitely wasn't around people the same race as me and that made me want to fit in so bad I dressed just like them it was lululemon like crazy not saying people that aren't white can't wear lou I don't even know where I'm going with this but just know it was crazy guys I'm gonna show you this photo of me in freshman year I look terrible in this photo obviously we couldn't freaking tell but I just want you guys to take a look at my shirt my hair my like crazy extensions and the freaking white highlighter i don't know if you guys can see that but the crazy white highlighter the extensions in the hair and i was wearing a skirt with that outfit because i was a total tennis skirt girl i was like i need this skirt in this color this 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 yes yes like no that's not me i'm sasha i'm not that I like long hair. I like big eyelashes. I like wearing full faces of makeup. I like having a different style every single day. Don't stick to a style. Don't try and be like everybody else. Just because your friends are wearing boot cut jeans and a crop top doesn't mean you have to wear that. Be different. Be who you want to be. Because nobody's going to remember you from high school and that's that. Once high school is over, you're never going to see those people again. So be different. And show other people that it's okay to do that too.
But going along with that, don't buy things because everybody else has it. Because everybody else has a spray ground backpack does not mean you need one. I mean, I even fell into it this year. I got myself a spray ground backpack. It's literally sitting right there. But it's just because it's on trend. I could have just worn my black Jan, Jan Sport backpack like I do every year. But no, I wanted to fall into the trend, which you're not supposed to do that. I mean, not saying you can't get a freaking new backpack. That's not at all what I'm saying, but don't fall into trends because everybody else has it. Oh, she has this Sol de Janeiro, whatever freaking perfume. Oh my god, I have to have that too. Oh my god, wait, we're wearing white Crocs now? Oh, well, I need to have white Crocs. She has Panda Dunks? I need Panda Dunks. You know what I mean? Don't do that. Make sure you're bringing snacks and water to school. One thing I do every single day, I always pack one snack in my bag. It helps me not overeat when I get home. And it overall just makes me feel better. Like, my brain will be getting foggy in class. I'll just pull out, like, a few, like, animal crackers or something, and I'm good to go. Also, your friends are probably hungry sometimes, too. So you can you can be you can be the mom of the friend group and bring them all some snacks, too. But, again, don't forget your water. There are $45 Stanleys on Amazon, and I think it's a good investment. Personally, I have this Hello Kitty one from Timo. I don't know how much it, I don't remember how much it was, but... I love it so much and it keeps it cold just like a Stanley. Because somebody literally stole my Stanley at school. So, keep your essentials in your backpack. As a girl, you need chapstick, perfume, deodorant, lotion, and then maybe some touch-up makeup, and then a brush. That's what personally I keep in my bag. Oh, and a little bit of hand sanitizer. Because first of all, you do not want to be ashy at school. Second, you don't want to smell, especially after PE and stuff like that. You don't want... You have patchy makeup. I always bring powder. I always bring extra concealer and lip liner and highlighter. That was like the fastest talk ever, but like the longest freaking video ever. But anyways, those are basically all my tips for high school. Just remember, stay out of drama. Stay away from these nasty boys as much as possible. And don't forget to be yourself. If you want to be in band, since everybody thinks it's weird, be in band. It doesn't matter. We're just living life. We only live one time. This is a one-time thing that you really can't repeat. And if there is another life, it's not going to be like this. So have fun while you can. Just because your friends aren't going to prom or doing a club doesn't mean you have to be. Or doesn't mean you have to. But anyways, guys, I really hope you enjoyed this video. I've gotten some new requests for this video. I've done a middle school one. But that's when I first was starting YouTube, so like the quality was kind of bad. But I think I've low-key improved, so hopefully I'll be improving within the upcoming months but anyways guys i hope you enjoyed wait i already said that <laughs> i hope you like this video please turn on your post notifications there's only like 70 people out of the 30,000 people that follow me on here to have post notifications on so please turn on your post notifications make sure to stay updated with my new videos i post health videos beauty videos fitness blah, 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 blah. but yeah and don't forget to subscribe because you literally never subscribed to me why are you not subscribed but anyways I hope this helped you guys. Let me know how your first day of high school goes when it happens. And good luck, guys. Don't forget to look at my other socials down below in the description. Love y'all. Bye.